Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Gordon Tarpley. Um, quick video. I am going to uh, try to do the Chrome tutorial this week. And I was planning on doing it when I did that suit for the Jimmy Kimmel show uh, last week, week before. God, it's confusing. But it's, my time's gone by so fast the last few weeks. Um, so I did a shoot for the Jimmy Kimmel show. I was going to make my Chrome tutorial while I did that, but the time uh, went into crunch mode and I didn't have a chance. So I'll show a quick little snippet of what that looked like here. So oh, this is the uh, the face mask for the C-3PO cutaway helmet for the Jimmy Kimmel show. So it'll open up like that. And I chromed it here and I'm getting ready to clear coat it and then tint it back to gold. Okay, so you can see it was very chromey and nice, but I, that was a very quick job. Uh, I probably spent about a, a third as much time as I should have doing that finish. It still came out pretty good. But what I want to go over in this video are the chemicals that you're going to need if you want to follow along with this thing. Uh, so I, this week I will be chroming a Captain Phasma helmet for a friend of mine, um, which should be pretty awesome. Now the plan is to do uh, all silver chrome, like uh, you know how Captain Phasma looks, and then I'll weather it so it looks dirty and awesome. And that is the plan. I want it to look as close as possible to the movie helmet uh, from the shots I've seen, which look pretty weathered. So we'll see how that goes. But this should be um, what we'll be looking at in the tutorial. I will also try and cover some items that are gold which is just a change in the tint process at the end. And we're going to go over that as well. But the important part is that you know how to do the silver. So, without further ado, we'll go over the chemicals. Um, I have been getting my chemicals, my silvering chemicals, from a place called Angel Gilding. Now, there are other suppliers. There's like, uh, let's see, Spectrochrome, Cosmochrome, uh, Alsa, a, a slew of other places sell these chemicals. Now, with like Spectrochrome and Crosmochrome, they sell very large kits that are crazy expensive for the chemicals that you need. If you're painting tons of stuff, it's probably a good deal. But if you're just making, you know, a, like a C-3PO suit or costume parts or helmets, it's way, way more than you'll ever need. Um, and then Alsa sells sort of larger kits and then they sell really small kits. And their small kits don't seem like enough to me. For the price, I think they're a little steep for what you're getting. They're probably the same stuff I chemical-wise, almost the same as what I've used, but they're. Uh, I, I don't think the price point's very good. So I've been using uh, the products by Angel Gilding. And I'll go over these now. Now, um, first you are going to need. Oh, by the way, I'll put the link for Angel Gilding in the description of this video, uh, so you can go there and look. And what you'll need now the kit I'm about to show you is kind of a like a medium size kit they may they sell these chemicals in smaller batches which when I did my first 3PO I used the smallest batches I could buy and it was enough to do my entire suit with leftover and I screwed up a lot of times if I didn't screw up I could probably do two complete suits silver and still have a little leftover but there was enough there to cover flubs so the chemicals, the size I'm going to show you is about the medium size. They sell this in smaller batches. So here we go. All right, so you're going to need sensitizer. Um, this is a little bottle. comes with a little hypodermic syringe kind of thing. A tiny little bit of this liquid goes into uh, 500 milliliters of water, and it does the trick. So you'll need this, and this is the first step. Uh, when you spray your chemicals, this is the first chemical that you spray down, and you mix that with some wetting agent. Now, the company wants you to spray the wetting agent, and then you spray the sensitizer. I recently found that I could actually, when I'm spraying this, I can mix the wetting agent and the sensitizer in one bottle and spray it at the same time, and it works just fine. So, I don't know why they don't mix them. Maybe it affects the shelf life of this. I, I have no idea. But you can do that. I'll, I'll go over that later. But anyway, so you'll need wetting agent. You'll definitely need this. Um, this is a surfactant, and what that means is that it keeps the your liquid uh, sheeting on the surface. You want it to cover the whole surface. You don't want any little 
spots to uh, repel water and open up. Um, you know, when the water is sheeting off, you don't want little little areas to open up where it's not touching the surface. You want all the surface to be covered with with liquid, and you don't want it to just. Uh, I don't know. There's probably a word like fish eye. I don't know what they call it, but it's when the uh, the liquid is repelled by the surface. So this prevents that. So that this stuff will coat everything. This is very important. So you need this, right? And again, sensitizer, wetting agent. Okay, you'll need those two things. Um, and the next you will need the two-part spray silver solution. Uh, concentrate one of one. A uh, little of this, again, go the, goes a very long way. And uh, this is one part of your mix. Um, this is a two-part spray. And you'll need the two-part spray silver reducer. This is this, the other part. Each one of these mixes in a separate bottle. You spray them on at the same time after you sensitize the surface. And then you have some silver. Now, these, again, these are the, the medium-sized bottles. This kit was probably uh, 350 or 375 dollars. This is a lot. So I did the entire C3PO suit for the Jimmy Kimmel show and had uh, leftover in my spray gun when I was done. And this is all I used. You can see how full these are. I only used a tiny little bit at the top, and that was enough to do an entire 3PO suit plus extra. So this will go a very long way. I think this covers 370 square feet. Um, now the kit this size, uh, what is this? Um, 500 milliliters of each of these. I think they sell it in a much smaller batch for about, the whole kit would be, for all the chemicals, I think 100 and, $30, $120-$130 and that's more than enough to probably do a full 3PO suit and probably two 3PO suits. So just to give you an idea on the price. This kit that I just got, it's cheaper to buy it as a kit than to buy the chemicals individually. And if you buy it as a kit, it comes with another um, thousand milliliter measuring uh, graduated cylinder, which I already had one back here I showed in a previous video. And it comes with uh, two, one for the reducer and one for the silver solution to small graduated cylinders. So it comes with all that stuff, which is really, really good. Another thing you're gonna need is your clear coat. Now, Angel Gilding sells their own, but I think it's better deal to buy this somewhere else. I get um, this on eBay. Now, this is the exact same stuff I used previously. This is a brand new container. It's uh, Acme Finish One Automotive refinish products FC 720 um, ultimate overall clear coat, and this is the hardener. Now this is a urethane clear coat, so it's like working with, you know, the, the equivalent of working with resins. You have to mix the hardener in order for it to cure, so it cures. It doesn't dry, which uh, is why it can stay so clear. Now I'm sure a bunch of auto guys are going to come on here and tell me that all the better products I should be using. But this stuff worked awesome for me and it was a pretty good price and it's flexible enough that it doesn't uh, doesn't break really easy. Now there's probably better ones, I'm sure of it. If you know one, I'd love to hear it, but this has worked for me, so I'm, I'm happy with it. But uh, if you're free to do whatever, I'm sure other clear coats work just as well. But uh, some of them require a reducer, so it's another step to add in. Anyway, just something to think about. <clears throat> um, so I think that's it. Clear coat, hardener, and your chemicals. And you're going to need a uh, tent. I'll go grab that really quick. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. So the, the tints that I've been using for my gold, uh, I've been using SEM or SEM, I don't know how you say that, uh, Color Horizons Custom Finishes Candy Concentrate California Gold. This is the tint that I've been using with, with, my, uh, with my clear coat to make the gold color. And it comes out very nice. Um, when you do silver, 
there's a property of this chroming process and in general like if you do spray chrome if you put a clear coat or water or anything clear over the silver it will cause it to look yellow it's not a yellowing of the clear coat it is an actual just a property of having a clear coat over silver it'll do it with any silver item um, in order to counteract that and make it look more silver um, more chrome like you need a translucent purple dye now I believe that uh, color creations or color horizons also SEM SEM they also make a purple coat, clear coat um, this is the clear uh, tint that I've been using it's just by Berman Industries it's for uh, like like cast clear casting resins but it's a clear violet tint and uh, I'll go into the whole thing when you mix it but you're basically gonna mix it very very thin and when you spray it it's you, you can't tell that there's any purple in there it just offsets that little bit of yellow so that there's no more yellow it just makes it look like silver it looks nice um, so those are what you the things you're gonna need I think I've covered everything for this video uh, this week like I said Captain Phasma back here we'll get some silver um, I may do this 3PO head gold at the same time while I have all the chemicals out and I'll go over the process of doing both and all the tricks and so forth and uh, I'm gonna cut right now and then I am going to go over the my old tinting method that I use for my all clad I've been getting asked about it for like three years and I've never been really satisfied with how it looks so I didn't really want to share it and put it out there how I did it um, and it's really really kind of a tricky process and people are going to try it a different way and they're going to screw it up and they're going to say that I told them the wrong thing which isn't the case but anyway I'm going to stop this here tell you about that and uh, go check out that next video I'll try I'll probably post that tomorrow after I think about it uh, anyway you guys have fun good night thanks for stopping by see you soon bye